So it's Josh Jam, J2K Young Kai. Ready. After the big set from Trim Roach. Hold tight, Brasco, as well. Big shouts to Mum Dance. So we got J2K Young Kai. What's really good, you man? Uh, yeah, you don't know. It's cool. Everything blessed. We just passed through. Me and Kai, obviously, so love to the thing. Send out to everyone that came down there. Big up, obviously. The grime scene thing is just, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? Obviously, it's a big year for you. Finally, kind of getting a recognition that I think we deserve. Because I've been following you from a long time, from Elliot Ness, Heat in the Streets days. So, you know, it's good to see you getting your shine. But obviously, as well as your solo stuff, you can roll deep. And you've got the A-list thing popping off. So, and Alliance as well. So, Tell them what's coming up from you apart on the solo tip this year. Yeah, um, obviously, yeah, like you said, I've got all those projects happening in it. But um, so yeah, this time I'm th this year I'm getting a lot of recognition. Still, I'm getting out there, piece more like into the into the other world in it. Like get a bit more recognition um, on a solo thing. Like I'm working on my album. Obviously, I got a single, "Don't Let Go." I think that's coming out 30th of August now. That's been a, a madness. But yeah, that's that. Um, obviously. Yeah, but Rose is good I've got um obviously you got the features, the electric boogaloos with Wiley, whatever, the roll deep stuff. But yeah, and I got a, obviously I got a single lined up after that single, so everything is just moving nicely at the minute, you get me, obviously, along with all the projects I'm doing as well. As well as that, I mean what's what's good for the roll deep thing? Obviously the single went number one three weeks in a row. Longest number one of the year, that's what Manga said earlier. So what's happening with the album and whatnot for them? Yeah, like obviously, man's working on the album now, the Roll Deep album. Um, yeah, that's just basically what it is. The album's in in process now. The second single's ready. That's out in um, you know, I can't even remember the date now, but that's coming out. That's called Green Light. Yeah, so obviously, man's just you know working the system in it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. We're just doing that, and uh, obviously, everybody will just spring off with their solo projects. Obviously, you got Young Kai as well. He's ready. He's coming. You know what I mean? Yeah, done. No, what was the question? Obviously, I got my first promo. Best promo you will hear coming from the Graham scene. The El Nino season, the interlude. Um, alliance, obviously, with J2K, Vertex, and former members that are not here right now. Obviously, newest member to 80 list as well, as of last month sometime. And boy, just looking to get on the A list album. Got my promo coming out, leading to the mixtape, then leading to the album. So that's what I'm doing. Young Kai. A.K.A. Young El Nino, Dando. So like, the A-list thing, it kind of come out of nowhere for everyone that's not involved. It's just kind of like one minute while he was talking about it on Twitter and then we're hearing tunes and then obviously Midnight Lover. Is, is it out already or is it coming out? Like, like, ain't out yet. Obviously, you know what? You know what? To be real, yeah, it, it was just a speedy project. Like the album's actually done. It's wrapped. Like, I mean, we've worked so fast on it, but right now... Man ain't working to dates, innit? Like, the dates have been a bit all over the place. Like, I'll just give you the real talk, innit? But um, like, obviously, Midnight Lover was shot, was supposed to come out, didn't come out yet. So, I don't know, everything's just been kind of pushed back. But where there's a lot of projects bouncing off as well, like solo ones, certain things have to take a back seat for a little while, do you get what I'm saying? Because it's like, we're actually doing too much work, it seems like, sometimes. And the radio's only going to accept so much at a time, innit, from certain artists. So, we could be kind of just overdoing it a little bit. So, you know what I mean? You just have to just keep it constant. And obviously it's summer coming up, so what's going on with you? Festivals and flying out tours and whatnot. Where can people catch you? Um, yeah, no, obviously, because obviously all the singles that are out now, so we're going to be at like every festival, wireless, um, Glastonbury, like all of them, man. Like, I mean, um, we're doing, we're going overseas. We just, I just come back from Dubai, actually, at B4. So anywhere that's popping, you're going to see my next. because obviously we've got things to promote in it. So, you know, it's just normal like that. And on a solo tip, what's, what is it, a mixtape? Because you had obviously Now Playing, yeah. which was a freebie that you put out a, a month or two ago. Yeah. I mean, and that was a lot of kind of stuff that people might have heard and never like, had a chance to kind of get their hands on. Like, kind of, not a best of, but like... It weren't like a best of or anything. You see what it is? I've got so much stuff just sitting there. It's like, if I don't do nothing, they're just going to sit there. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like, I just thought, like, let me just put this together. I just did it in a couple of days, you get what I'm saying? And added a couple, like, newer bits. But, um, yeah, man, it was just something I just wanted to just give, innit? Like, I don't... I, Me, personally, I don't believe in selling a mixtape no more. I'm just giving my stuff out free now, do you get what I'm saying? Until albums and singles are coming out. I'm just going to give out free music. So I'd rather, like, 10,000 people hear my stuff than rather 2,000 buy it. Do you get what I'm saying? It's all about just getting people to hear my stuff, innit? So... Do you know what I mean? So, 
that is the case. So the next mixtape, is it going to be the same kind of thing, a freebie again or? And is it all new tracks or is it just kind of more features, tracks that you might have done that are kind of just yeah, not been heard? I ain't really, I ain't really structured it like that, but um, so yeah, yeah, it will be more of the same. It'll probably be more newer tracks though, because I've, I've, I'm always working, do you know what I'm saying? And it's like not everything can go on a certain project, so you just get stuff left around. So it'll just be stuff that ain't making the final cuts and things like that, but you don't know, it's good material still. And you're kind of, you kind of bounce between, obviously the mainstream stuff, you're on Electric Boogaloo with Wiley, you've got the track with Roses, and obviously the Roll Deep stuff, you're doing stuff that's kind of mainstream out there, and you're also doing, I hear you on quite a lot of grime mixtapes, like you was on Aim High and whatnot, you're kind of doing both nicely, keeping everyone happy, so it's a good look, man. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's just music at the end of the day, and it's like, I keep active, so I just find myself in all different places all the time, because... It's like, that's where my energy is. Wherever the energy is, I'll, I'll try and make it and be there. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, whether it's a commercial crossover thing or an underground grime thing. I mean, grime is what we do naturally. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's only natural I'm going to do that anyway. So, yeah, I'll be servicing all kinds of shit. And obviously, the grime scene's kind of changed quite a bit this year. Obviously, we had people like SX and TRC, all these Midlands kind of producers breaking through. Who Who's catching your ear? Like, people that you want to work with, you haven't had the chance to work with yet. I don't really know yet, but like obviously the Stay Fresh Camp SX and that, like they've been sending me beats from earlier. I actually had the Woo Rhythm a long time ago, you know. I feel feel like a part of like I actually lost it in my computer. So I remember one time I asked him for it, guys. I I sent it to you time ago. I felt like a prick. I thought, oh yeah, for real, you did, you know. But you know, so it, it happens. But yeah, them man, I'm feeling them man. Obviously, G Tank, that's probably one of my favorite producers right now as well. Like. I've known, like, not even known him really, but I, we've, we've, he's been hollering at me for for a long, a long time now since MySpace days. You get what I'm saying? I remember, I remember his humblest message he sent me, brothers like, "Oh, please listen to my beats." I swear, that I don't. I thought, all right, I'm gonna listen to it, and I thought, right, you don't. The way his beats were sound, I was like, you don't need to be humble, bro. You can say your shit is the shit, bro, because it was better than a lot of people that was established. And he's hard. You get me? No, I mean, cause you done a chat with him in 2010, obviously. Yeah. I got a bunch of other beats that I'm gonna uh, be laying down as well. Kai's done some as well, do you know what I'm saying? So it's like Titch is gonna be doing some as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So watch out for that. Um, so yeah, man, like that's definitely one of my favorites, G Tank, right now. All right, so you know we're looking forward to all the new music. Let people know how they can keep up with you. All the Twitter, the Facebook, all that kind of stuff. Mainly, you see what realistically nowadays it's mainly the Twitter thing. I can't really keep up with all the MySpace, and I swear MySpace is a bit dead now anyway. Like, so it's it, it's usually just a Twitter thing. You can hit me on there. I'll give you the info, what you need, you get what I'm saying? There's a fan page on Facebook, but I don't really keep up with it. Some other people do certain time. I might go and like, have a look at a certain time, you get what I'm saying? So if you're hollering at me and you think I'm airing you, I'm not airing you on there, I swear. It's just that I don't control it like that, you get what I'm saying? Even my little brother thinks I'm powering him on there, I'm not. But um, yeah, like Twitter mainly, at J2K Live, you can hit me on there. Um, yeah, man, you can get what you need. I got Obviously, I just did Step Aside as well. Yeah, we see a video for that. Because that tune's been out for a while. I remember getting it from you, like, September. And thinking, yeah, like, Funky was still popping off. I thought, yeah, this is going to do a lot. And then didn't really see much. I just, I just didn't. It's just too much stuff. I get, I get lost with myself sometimes and just forget things and just don't capitalise on the moment sometimes. And I just left it, like, um, bubbling and whatever. And then I just, one day, I literally just woke up on a phone post. I said, let's do a video. I said, all right, cool, weekend. Just did it, boom, no planning. Just rented out a flipping yard. And just banged it out, do you get what I'm saying? Nothing long and just full. Do you know what I mean? It's all what I do, just service, innit? Like, I pay for my shit. I shell out for all this, innit? Like, it's, it's, it's just all the love, innit? I don't sell it. It's just for man to just listen to, you get me? And appreciate it. Oh, but I'm sure that people do appreciate Like, as a DJ, as a fan, I definitely do. But Kai, how can they get, how can they follow you, Twitter, the, the Facebook, all that kind of stuff? Yeah, it was, you know, forward slash young Kai, but it's changed for the promo, so it's... Young El Nino now, spelled young, obviously, L-E-L-N-I-N-O. Yeah, it's all one word. Get me on there. Follow me, innit? I don't know. Uh, you know what, madam? Thanks for coming through, innit?